Welcome to the Janome Studio. In this tips and tricks video, I'm going to be showing you how to quilt amazing swirls with the Quilt Maker Pro 16. If you're a beginner quilter and you haven't quilted swirls before, uh, maybe you need a visual guide before you get started. So don't be afraid to grab some sort of marking pin. It can be air erasable, water erasable, or heat erasable. And you can trace your path before you get started with that pin. That way you have somewhere that your eyes can go and you know exactly what line to follow. And so even though swirls are simple, sometimes having that extra little visual guide can really be helpful when you get started. All right, so now we're ready to learn how to quilt some swirls. And swirls are great for filling negative space or for quilting the backgrounds on a quilt block. And they're very beginner friendly, so if you don't have a lot of experience quilting on the long arm, swirls are a great way to start. And to begin, let's talk about settings. So right now I have the Quilt Maker Pro set to regulated mode as far as the stitches are concerned. And what that means is each one of our stitches are going to be exactly the same length. And uh, in manual mode, the machine is driven by you. So your stitches depend on how fast or how slow you're driving the machine. And so in regulated mode, we're going to be really precise. I've got the stitch length set to 13 stitches per inch, which is a fairly good size for this. And you could even go up to 15 or 16 stitches per inch, but just know that if you're, if you make a mistake and you want to seam rip out some of your stitches, the shorter your stitch length, the more time consuming it's going to be to seam rip. And, um, you don't want to go any lower than 13 stitches per inch because when you're quilting curves, your curves won't be as smooth. So if you're, I don't know, 12 stitches per inch or under, your curves are going to look maybe a little more jagged and not so smooth. So stay in the 13 to 16 stitches per inch range. And I think we're ready to go ahead and start quilting. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring our bobbin thread up to the top of the fabric. So we're going to put the needle in the down position while we hold our thread from the top. And then we're going to press the button again to bring our bobbin thread up, pull that away and then pull those threads out of the way. And now we're going to make just a few stitches in place to secure our stitches before we begin. Perfect. Okay. So to quilt swirls, basically all you're doing is you're quilting circles, but you're not connecting them. So you're making kind of concentric circles that are going in and getting smaller as you advance. So we're going to quilt in. And once we get to the center of the swirl, we're going to follow that back out. And when we get to the outside, we're going to go right into another swirl and we're going to be quilting those kind of stacked on top of each other. So it'll be really cool once we get done. All right, so let's go ahead and quilt some swirls. So right now I'm tracing back down the previous line and then I'm going to go into another swirl. I'm tracing back another line, just, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch and going into another swirl. Okay, so let's talk a little problem solving. Let's say that in this quilt, you don't want to quilt any further over here to the left, but your needle is over here. And so you don't know how to get back. Uh, you don't know how to get back over to the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to trace up this line just slightly and we're going to echo that swirl that we just did. So anytime you get stuck in your quilting path, when you're doing swirls, just know you can always echo the previous swirl that you did or even another one before that. So let's go ahead and do that and get back over to the right so we can quilt some more. All 
And that's really all there is to it. Quilting swirls is so easy and basic that even beginners can do it starting off. So uh, now that you know how to quilt swirls, I hope that you'll give this a try.